Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Lineage OS 18.1 stable build for our Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the February update of the Lineage OS 18.1 for our Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. And, yep, we have a fully stable build with hardware composer, uh, totally fine and fixed. So this is Android 11. 18.1 lineage OS version then february 5 2021 security patch and yeah that's our basic normal kernel and this is the fab 5 build so this is the latest one of all so guys lineage OS 18.1 is just a minor update over the 18.0 just a normal version bump now in terms of development it means to improve the code and for normal users it is just a number to be added up to there to no just get an update over it but yeah other things the basic things are normal everything is same you won't get any extra stuff it is just an improved version of the lineage OS android 11. so let's click on the display option and here we have nothing everything is same but if you explore more you get a tap to wake option let's see if it works okay it works but there is a delay and it does not always work okay so i'm just having my conclusions that it does not work because it is just a one-time thing and it did not work after that so yeah and here we have a live display option and we have a lot of options here now normally if i use my redmi phone and if i choose live display option i will get one or two options but here we have a lot of options and which says the automatic outdoor mode this is anti-flicker this is color calibration so we have kcal then color uh, temperature you can also adjust the screen temperature then screen temperature i mean the display color temperature and then we have display modes uh, various modes day night outdoor and then we also have color profile dynamic standard natural cinema adaptive the default is adaptive in most of the devices so yeah here or uh, in the uh, lineage OS it's been set then screen timer and just basic stuff here is advanced display and you can choose scenario accordingly if you are shooting a video then you can choose a video or use the camera mode then navigation gallery everything has its own senior home mode so wow then we have accessibility mode and you can also uh, get into these functions through the accessibility tab now this is just the normal stuff uh, the lineage stuff uh, and if you want to see some customizations oh sorry it's into the system here you can see status bar and all that stuff the buttons configuration uh, enable on screen navbar and also you can configure the backlight and we have a lot of navigation bar stuff if you enable the on screen navbar you will get this options enabled and yeah we have this uh, home long press action and some uh, normal gestures then here we have long press for torch let's see if it works oh yes it did so yeah this normal gestures will work fine because they have the same uh, code and every devices use this the same so yeah we here we have a uh, home button double tap action let's see if home button wakes the device it was not working in some rounds but yeah lineage os it always works there is no issue in lineage os here also we have click to partial screenshot let's see what it does uh, i do not get any option of partial screenshot so yeah i will just assume it does not work or it is just a wip feature but yeah that is it for the display options and the configurations which are present in the lineage os now to change the status bar items you have a separate tab here for the status bar quick pull down network attractive monitor system icons clock position battery style and just the brightness slider stuff then into gestures we also have quickly open camera the normal regular stuff the power menu and prevent ringing and yep that is it for the uh, features of the lineage OS. this is the updater but it won't work because we are unofficial we are on unofficial build and the updater only works for official builds now guys this rom comes with a camera but my g apps have replaced or have removed the camera app so sorry i could not show you the camera but it works fine uh, if you want to check if the camera works, just turn on the flashlight. If the camera is broken, the flashlight is also broken. Like that's how I check in some ROMs if the camera app is missing. And if you're really lazy to install a new app while you have already set some apps to install. But yeah, 
that is that you can install open cam if you're using flame g apps or any other g apps which replaces the stock apps so yeah you can choose uh on your own way so yep that is it for this lineage os not much of bugs are present just some minor old bugs which were in the android uh, 10 lineage 17 uh, that may present be uh, that may be presenting here but yeah other bugs uh, like hardware composer has been fixed audio issues are fixed so your calling and everything is fine uh volte will not work so please don't ask if volt is working fine or not it will not work guys you can also only use your normal 3g or 4 uh, 3g voice calls or 4g voice calls if it is there are like that so yep that is it if you guys like the video then please press the like button if not press the dislike button and you can also uh, share your comments or views in the comment section and that's it bye bye see you guys in the next video till then take care and bye bye again